Okay, I'm back, and I'm I'm still on the. This is the third video of me attempting to work a piece of obsidian with Abo tools for amusement value only, not to be studied for learning. If you want to learn how to work NAB Abo, your best bet is to leave this channel and go to the channel of flint napping tips and start watching the videos over there. Hang it. And um, That would be your best bet. I need to get my peg punches out or something, but I hate to punt on that and use those because... Uh, see, the difference is when I use the peg punches, uh, antler peg punches, I get, without a lot of trouble, I get a lot more velocity. And a lot of the reasons I think that I fail to take my flakes when I want to, other than a lack of, uh, lack of correct abrading sometimes, is a lack of sufficient velocity sometimes. So, there's time when the peg punches can be a good crutch on that issue. Crushing, crushing. And as is typical with my ABO work, this is one ugly preform. What usually ends up happening is I just snatch, you know, I snatch a point from destruction at the end with, let me, let me try this a bit. What do I do with all my stuff? Where's my, I'm missing something. Oh, uh, <clears throat> this could scare little kids with this. Halloween, you know, they come over. Look, look at this preform. They go, ah, and run away. What am I doing? Oh man. I should really start having better plans when I do videos. See? Almost an overshot. Took out a problem area. Maybe I should quit now. That, that looked pretty good. Or 
if you've just tuned on to this channel, that's typical of my ability. I wonder if that means I'm getting funny for a little bit. I used to have longer episodes of funniness. Once you get older, you get grouch brain or something. Another thing that's an issue for me with obsidian is, is trying to see obsidian. I have trouble seeing it. The edges. Man, I ought to flute this thing. I ought to flute this thing. Don't get your hopes up. I didn't show that to you, but that was a little real steep edge and it wrapped around perfectly and, and undercut and, and made it smooth there. And I showed that before on copper working with support, but it bees one of my best tricks. So don't tell anybody. Well, I mean, I'm not saying this is good, but so far it isn't the worst thing I've ever done. That could change. I don't know if you're thinking about, you know, what's happening here, but basically this is like if you're shooting pool and you line a bunch of balls up in a kind of a half circle touching each other, you can shoot the ball straight this way and this other ball will come straight that way. Um, and it's basically just a redirection of force. But the cool thing about it is the, uh, the leather just sort of is self-aligning with how it redirects force and that it tends to direct force underneath the surface kind of along the same line as the face. So if your platform is set high enough and you take the flake on leather, sometimes it'll just kind of do a good thing. Sometimes, of course, it does nothing. And if you do it wrong, sometimes it does bad things, but oh well. This is a semi-risky hit. I sort of went at a weird angle on a platform to try and go between two low areas. There was sort of a gamble. Hitting on the end is always a gamble too and how you support it matters. Because you can still get vibration and end snap uh, supporting on leather. But I have carefully and on a small scale, you know, used a peg punch for fluting before. Now it's pretty good. I wonder if this thing's focusing. That looks out of focus. I may not have enough light in here. If this whole thing is unfocused, then then I'm not 
not happy. Not happy. I sound happier than normal though, to me. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Country DJs know that I'm an outlaw. You'd never come to see me in this dive. I probably can't sing that. I mean, I don't even remember. That's uh, David Allen Coe. David, if you're out there, you know, spot me that for comedic effect or something, because, like, I ain't got nobody. Nobody cares for me. Boo, 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 boo. Eh. Ouch. The only time I know. I really ought to be cleaning this up with pressure work instead of doing all this crazy stuff. Because I may not be able to take as long and powerful a flakes with pressure, but I can take safer flakes and more predictable flakes. But safety is for wimps. So I'm gonna just whack, whack, whack on this sucker. Where's Mootsie? He should have heard that. My daughter sent me a text last night. I sent a picture of like Moots, you know, taking advantage of me like he always does. And my daughter sent me a text back saying something like, I think y'all are fused into one like, like now we're a single entity, me and Moots. Moots FC, FC Moots. Well, I really need to just quit jerking around with this. And Plus, it didn't rain anymore. I mean, I can move back outside. Of course, if it rains more, then I'll have to move back inside. But... Now, that was bad. I guess I might ought to really have platforms to work on if I'm going to do this. Crap. Okay. I need to make a video about this called Life on the Edge. Or Bad Life on the Edge. If I could, yeah. This is looking so scoundrelly that, yeah, that's an that's an adverb.
I just realized I didn't do any of those fancy, um, I haven't done any of those dang fancy isolated platforms. Dang it. I don't even see my antler tying. One of my antler tines. It's a smaller one. There's an antler tying. I, uh, I have a couple of antler issue sticks and I ought to use them. But it seems like sometimes I'm like, well, I'm working abo, man. I gotta, I gotta use antler tying and just hurt my hand big time. I'll be right back. <laughs>